This isn't exactly your average driver's ed. It is vital to the job and doing the job well and doing the job as safe as we possibly can do. These students hope to one day become members of law enforcement, but first they have some learning to do. We're here learning um, how to drive a police vehicle at the emergency vehicle operators course. Knowing how to operate it safely around the public and other people is of utmost importance. The courses they drive are carefully planned. Just weaving through the cones and not hitting any of them is a little bit more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. There's a brake and steer, so under full heavy braking, how to come off the brake and steer out of that situation. Each twist and turn designed to mimic situations an officer will come across on the road and while on display. So it puts a lot of pressure on them when they're driving. So we want to give them that confidence so they can do the job effectively. There's a lot to learn. You have uh, the computer, you have the uh, radar, there's all these different systems and things you have to know how to operate as well as drive the vehicle. To get comfortable with. Learning how to maneuver the vehicle, you can kind of do things with it that you didn't think you could. Yeah, good job. Just keep it up. And it's down. not uh, all about and, uh, going uh, fast. Number one uh, accidents for police and otherwise is in reverse, backing. They're not the high speed accidents, they're the little fender benders in the parking lot. Their instructors remember the nerves, but had no problem showing the students what they're moving towards. Um, I just kind of want to get back out there again and do it. Oh, and they will, again and again and again. In Plattsburgh, Leanne Denyer, NBC5 News.